All right, we're here with Nick and KB on Out and About Friday. Uh, we were just discussing KB's ass. Joey, if you want to take it away, give me some initial thoughts. Well, he walked in and he's trying to get beefed up. He's moving to Chicago soon and he's got a, um, you know, his, her new persona <laughs> will be category is cheeks. Um, you were telling me beforehand that you were working out, trying to get your legs bigger, but just your ass is growing. Yeah, I've been like squatting heavy, leg presses, trying to grow my skinny legs and it just goes to my ass. Why don't you do this one? I do that. I do that. The and it I just goes the, the to your ass. Weight. My ass grows way more. He Are you his arms? It goes to his ass. It's genetics. That's like my eye workout. Every Does time I try to add something. Fat, the nicest, fattest ass. My eyes just go. <laughs> it's genetics. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> your dad has, has the best ass. <laughs> your dad has a great ass? Yeah. That's Is it why. juicy? Yes. <laughs> yes. How old is your father? My age? <laughs> Early, uh, Early 50s? Low 60s. Well, we have him here today. Mr. Swag, come on through. <laughs> We've been trying to get him. He's too big for us. Really? Yeah, he's a right wing Twitter Twitter troll. If anyone, well, he he flips the wings. I don't know what he's up. Yeah. to. Yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're wondering why I'm chain smoking and, and binging Mamitas responsibly, you stopped. Oh, it, do the ad if you have. Response. To. It's yeah. not an ad. No. I'm just saying that I'm drinking Mamitas because I need to take the edge off today. Why? why? I'm just going. I have a lot going on. I'm planning a. I'm planning a huge gay party on June 8th at, at Sucker Punch Sports Bar. June Everyone's, 10th. June June 8th at Sucker Punch Sports Bar in New York City. Everyone's welcome to come. Um, yes. And there's a lot of things on our plate. We, we're doing cocktail making. We're doing decorations. We're doing... Yeah. A lot goes into party planning. You don't take things lightly. You don't have a tablescape. Easter sent me $10,000 in debt. And Did we just invite the general public to our happy hour? It's Gen Pop. We're doing Gen Pop. Sucker Punch Bar on the east side in the 30s, 5 to 7 p.m. on June 10th, 8th. June, June 8th. 8th. June Thursday, 8th. June 8th from 5 to 7. Bring uh, uh, bring whatever you'd like. What would you like the them dust. to bring? KB's fat ass. You got. You guys are going to get strung up of, then. Oh, are you available? Oh, a dancer. The dozen live Would you event. dance? We have another dancer. I'm not saying it. What, a dancer? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're not, you can wear whatever you feel comfortable in, but you do have to stand on a table and dance or a bar. Mm -hmm. Just, Just for like, yes? I don't, I'm not going to stand on a table, but I would attend. Well, you're not going to dance for us. No. <laughs> you're not going to dance for no, He's an Afghani no dancing rhythm. boy. We're trying to raise funds. For a bag, <laughs> of? You, a bag of what? Takis. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're, you're, are you of a you, bag? You, you guys got extended. Did you talk and brag about that? About what? Being independently wealthy. You guys are loaded. Yeah, we we can't stop talking about oh, it. Yeah? Actually, it's the only thing that we do talk about. No, um, we're not loaded just yet. Joey's spending is. I'm about out, to get loaded. He's out of control. Well, let he me ask. Spending is out of bracelet. control. Look at him. I got Joey. a tennis bracelet. Well, this is Joey. contrary to everything I've heard about Ozempic. I beat it. You beat it? <laughs> you that, beat are, Ozempic? Are you calling me fat? No, we're, aren't you on it? Yeah. It, I've read that it like takes away all of your convulsions. No, no, girl. Compulsions? Conf compulsions? <laughs> compulsions. No. He's Eating not shaking. Yeah. I'm not like the it, money spending. People compulsions. don't like bite their nails anymore. They don't spend. Oof. I don't bite my nails, but I do spend. Okay. Now she will spend. You're getting, uh, he wants to get his stomach stapled too. I was like, that's overkill. You don't need that. What are you I didn't to, want what to you, do that. I thought you said you did. No. Oh, he did, but we're denying How it did now. the jaw thing go? It went good. I want that. But I have to lose more weight so you can see it. But it's in there. It's in there. What is? I jaw filler from Sperling Dermatology. Sperling Dermatology? Recently? I, I don't remember when I went under the knife and I had to have a mustache. I had to shave my whole face. You got your lip flip. But now it's covered with a, a stachio. Yeah. When do you guys move to Chicago? September. We're looking at late September. August. September. Oh, yes. so you're going to be at Pride? No. <laughs> Maybe June June 25th. Can we expect the boys, the no swag, the anus, the anus boys on the out and about flow? You guys oh, have a man. double decker. We have a double decker with our faces on it's it. Gonna be I, want I want top deck. He's a top. You mean top deck? It's Joey and Pat's Pride Gay Bash. Oh, then yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. doing a big gay bash. I will, I guarantee you, I'll write it in ink. I'll be there. Well, Brandon Walker was really into it when we said it was a gay bash. He's never wanted to do anything that he we came out throwing. with a bat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys should come. Last time it was just like walking slowly. That's what a parade we, is. No, we have a, we have a, we have a double decker bus that fits 100. Yeah. 100? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's probably like, I think there's 65 people who can go on the bus. So we're not going to walk. We're just going to go there, drink, have a good time. I'm not wearing any mesh. I'll wear some mesh. I'm wearing transvaginal mesh. Okay. Mm. I can do that. Can I uh, Can I get a shirt with you guys on it? Yeah. Of course. A Goonfest shirt? 
I think you can pick it up at any thrift shop in New York City. They're I very did. expensive. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Have you guys seen your merch in a thrift shop yet? No, it's no. very disheartening. Because the prices oh. are so high and you can't afford them? No, <laughs> no it's just because uh, we don't sell a lot of merch to begin with and it's not that old. Can you explain to me? I was on the, I was perusing Barstool, store.barstoolsports.com yesterday. Nice job. And you have a, you're selling a, a gray, plain gray crew neck sweatshirt. Yeah. There's nothing on it. <laughs> That's or right. Or is there something hidden? Is there, there's no, it's nothing just, on it's it. It's just gray. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't glow in the dark with a message once you go into a black light? No, we just sold a gray sweatshirt. And how did it do in sales? It's like a donation box. Yeah. The tip to, jar. To what? It's, you're pretty much just donating to us to support us. And you also get a, a, cool, a, gray, gray, a cool gray sweatshirt. Because sweatshirt. we also have a promo code that adds 10% to your order and it goes to us as well. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yeah, store did it for us. Nice. Yeah. What's the promo code? I don't, it's, it's down now, but it was anus plus 10. It was don't say gay bill. It was Ron DeSantis. <laughs> yeah, Ron DeSantis wrote it up. I can't wait till he's our president. Oh, it's going to be so great to have a level-headed Christian in the office. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> we had this we had this Muslim Kenyan born man with a tranny of a wife. Then we had Donald Trump, and now we have. We should have Barbara Bush. You, we're just, dude. <laughs> so now if we. You, have, if you like, if you fuck men, you can just say anything. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm so jealous. Well, he wasn't. Oh, well, born here. like saying anything. Yeah. I never saw the long form birth certificate. <laughs> um, who are you voting for, though? For real? I don't. Vote. We, how, who are the choices? Ron DeSantis. It's going to be Trump versus Biden. Trump versus again. Yeah. Trump versus Biden. You're going to vote. I know who you're voting for. Old 45. You want him back. Well, now that I'm in the new tax bracket, I may have to. Do you guys know of like a <laughs> subcategory of gays who are like really into Trump? I don't know, but personally, but I know, I know they right. exist. Is there like a, if I went to a city, what city would have the most? Like oh, the Florida. Shore? Florida. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Florida, Florida, Florida Texas. Te Gulf Tennessee. Coast, Gulf Coast. Tennessee. I have questions about different regional uh, gays. Yeah. Oh. Hit us with it. The, the South. Yeah. I feel like they're not, they didn't buy into gay fully. Like they know. They're, fashion wise. Mm, no. I mean, well, I mean, cowboy boots never go to style in the gay community. When you went to what college campus, you were being a whore. Amherst. Every whore. single one I know. No, no, no. Florida one State, maybe? Gallaudet. Oh, UGA, <laughs> UGA, the swamp. Yeah. I mean, oof, God. I mean, you, uh, you stayed it. in a dorm. Yeah. I, 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 someone said, come back to my place. I said, no problem. Then I had to That's sign into a dorm as a 30 year old man. You, can just not, you didn't have to say that. <laughs> yeah. It was an, I go, what? I go, oh, no, we're walking into a dorm. And I look, and it was a dorm, and I had to sign in. Whenever we walk through like a college campus in a town, KB automatically connects to the internet. <laughs> what do you is mean? That true? He's been there. And he connects to like eight Bluetooth speakers, eight JBL <laughs> minis. He shows me his Bluetooth connections to speakers. He said these are better than fucking nudes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you play over it? Just sounds of you farting or? No, he mixes. My playlist? Yeah. Uh, Kygo, Sagala, Klingon, Tropical House, just in time for the summer. Tropical House music? Yeah. What would be an example of a tropical house? Kygo is probably the it's like tone? the It's like the fun, upbeat house with like, kind of like just, it's hard to describe music as tropical, but you feel the tropical vibes. <laughs> Arigato. Oh, no, no, no that's Italian. That, that was the worst. What was that? <laughs> All right. What's, how do you say Jamaica? What's Chet Hanks? So I think the trick is, what is it? You say beer can in a British accent. It sounds like bacon in a Jamaican accent. Yeah, try it. Bacon. <laughs> Bacon. It sounds like my living. Your boyfriend? My living. Is that what you call your what? No, I'm just kidding. Never mind. It's above your head. It's what Is happens there a when you have a living maid. Be looking at? You have a living maid? Yeah. Well, it's because your boyfriend then. Well, no, I do. It was well, it, your mother needed the work, <laughs> so I brought so I brought her up from West Virginia. Yeah. I said as long as she gets clean, she can, you know, She's scrub my grout. She's <laughs> oh, Jesus. What is Sorry, that? this is too much. I'm spewing venom no, now. Not. I had no, one sip not. of, you know. Mamita's pack and next thing you know I'm spouting off you seem like you're spiraling right now Joe. yeah what's the matter Joey talk to yeah, us yeah. You look fine. I'm overwhelmed <laughs> thank you well I'm I see you doing red carpets and stuff I want you to teach me how to do that face you do oh yeah, how, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. how the fuck do you that do that good. you put the tongue uh, your tongue on the roof of your mouth and then purse your lips does it oh it hurts dude here <laughs> well, Marty that's creepy you just try it yeah, I did. Why? It that, looked bad. 
Some of them was all right. <laughs> 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 yeah. no, no, sorry, sorry. I just want to let you know. I just that was the most disheartened. Yeah. yeah. Marty, did you try it? Yeah. I felt bad. Don't try it. <laughs> no, I get it. Yeah. I, I am was yawning. Feel bad about it. I am yawning a lot today because I did have to put myself down yesterday. What you last you? night. At a vet? No, I had to put myself down with pills to go to sleep because I was I got home. I was very tired last night. Yesterday when I got home from work around three and <laughs> I went right to bed and I didn't wake up till like 830 and I knew that I was going to like be having trouble back to sleep. So I took a Xanax and that's why I'm a little lethargic today. So just so we're clear, Joey's sleep schedule is get home at three, take a nap for about three to nine. Then you're awake from about nine to four a.m. No, 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 no. I, I will be if I don't go to if I don't have to put myself down. So if you don't put yourself down, you're awake from nine to four. Then you go back to bed at four a.m. and you're back awake at noon. I try to wake up between noon and three. Can we get Kia. some rest in peace eventually, Joey shirts in the bar store? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> rest in peace, not, not, not eventually. Just, have, just, mean that, don't, just yeah. mean don't interrupt Joey during his nap. Let him rest in peace. <laughs> Let him take his nap. What, so if you're sleeping like this, when are you door dashing? When are you Uber Eats? <laughs> I stopped doing that. Have you seen his, the, oh, you stopped doing that? Yeah. I haven't done it in a long time. I've been cooking at home. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it is. I don't. I haven't really ordered much food. I you know I go out to eat sometimes, but like, you know, I'm just you know eating home. I have a fistful of almonds and then um, and a line of coke. A line of cocaine. <laughs> yeah, and that'll put you down. And that does it. Um, now, we asked you here today because we're doing a kickoff of summer. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. That was your idea. Yes. <laughs> I tried to have an idea for today's show, <laughs> and I was like, well, "What is our idea? It's Memorial Day weekend." But you text us like top eight thirty minutes yeah. ago so while we're live. Can yeah, you give us yeah. your top eight? So, top eight favorite things of summer. Yes. Can I go first? I don't have, I have one. That summer. You have one. Yeah. What is it? The weather. Okay. Because <laughs> thrilling. <laughs> Very good. A good one, Pat. Oh, your turn. Top eight things about summer. Um. See, the weather, I wouldn't say. No, what? It's too hot. Too hot. Way too hot. <laughs> I don't Way like too the sweaty. But if it, without the weather, it's not it's summer. Crazy one, one. Pick. I like how it's how it stays light out late. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's the, wor the worst. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the title summer? of this podcast is Joey Said What About <laughs> Summer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, <God. laughs> Pat, you creative genius. Um... <laughs> I can't come up with a single one that I like about summer. Yeah, because college is out. You can't go, college can't go stalk the campuses. <laughs> college is out. Um, I think we're going to have to put an end to the segment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put, a, put, uh, put out that graphic. We tried. <laughs> Wait, can we graphic make that graphic? graphic? Yeah, yeah, two yeah, yeah, and then yeah. nothing else. <laughs> yeah. KB's wheels are turning, though. When the fire yeah. flies. Sundresses. Yeah, get in there. There's when the fireflies, when the fireflies transform your backyard or front into a galaxy of radiant microcosmic stars, is that a song? Is that Owl City? No. <laughs> Ten thousand fireflies. Did you ever like crush eating the ice cream on the regular? Get it? Get it? What else? I, I, sherbet's better in summer than ice cream. How was your trip to um, the inauguration? The coronation. The coronation of the yeah, guy yeah, that killed yeah. his yes. wife. Uh, so, so, so underwhelming. Yeah, it seemed not great. It was raining. It was gray. Thank you. Um, no, you um, said, I mean, it just, it's, you guys were fine, but it seemed like it wasn't as fun. Do you think it was because you didn't have your sidekick with you? Yeah. I'm mean, Tommy Smokes. Is, I love, he's a, I, No, Tommy was hilarious. Person. And the video we put out uh, after the man on the street was good. It was just like. We were expecting people to be like rowdy and pre-gaming it and drinking. It was a field. It was this park. That had one million people in it, and a there were vendors. People? One million people. Was that more than when Donald Trump, President Trump went and did his inauguration? That was the most attended inauguration in history. Ever. Right. So I think he had like a. I think he had double that. Um, but <laughs> these, they had a million people, and nobody was drinking. Why? We found one guy. Are you allowed to drink on the street there? Yeah. That like was people. seriously the only guy y'all saw that had that beer. Was, that had beer. That's insane. That makes no sense to yeah. me. Yeah. They take it too yeah. seriously, the royals. But yeah. those, it, it was sad. They hate Charles. Yeah. It was gray and rainy. He killed Diana. I yeah. had her killed. He, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. If maybe the British don't do like day drinking culture. I don't know. I know I don't they know go they hard do. at night. They love they, like drugs. I know that. Drugs. Yeah. But like pubs. If you're doing it here and it's a daytime thing, there's a park with one million people and like yeah. food vendors, people are going to be hammered. They yes. said, and they claim like they're the drinking country. They, I think they are, but like quietly. They don't do it for fun. They do it to get by. For necessity. Yeah. <laughs> and what a hideous people. 
The British? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're foul. Yeah. Horse toothed. Who is like the, the like hot gay Brit? Oh, I'm sure there's. I mean, but Prince Harry the, like, back suit, in the like, day. Like celebrity wise, it's not like. Sam oh, fucking Smith. Um, Tom Daly no, was good. What's back a guy? In the guy? Who's, who's the now? Who's the now? The fucking guy? Uh, Superman. Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. He's British. Yeah. He's I don't something. think he's is too he muscly. No, he is. Oh, to, to be handsome? Yeah. He's too muscled up. Well, I'll take him. Yeah. I, the only what? handsome British people are world famous actors. There's no lay hands like lay person. That's it was it was tough to be there. Tommy and all fit their cops right in. <laughs> Well, they have this anteater. Tommy cocks. blended in. They have anteater cocks, <laughs> uncut cocks. All the British do. No That's way. Right. Oh God, yeah. Didn't know that. They're pointier than normal. Pointier. Like the the, the foreskin's tighter there than. It's in, a in taper. Other what sample size are you working with? Um, the, about the cock. Like how many have you seen to like you know? I've seen enough in films and like and like I, I mistakenly follow someone on, on OnlyFans only to find out that, that, that they have that fans. pointy cock. Can you get your money back? You can't. I I tried to complain. Yeah. What's your OnlyFans bill monthly? Bill? I only buy myself like three per month. And I, 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 as soon as I subscribe, I unsubscribe right away. So I head it for the month so I don't get rebuilt. So what is the difference to you Oof. between an OnlyFans model and looking up a uh, free? Well, I don't go for traditionally good looking people. I like, you know, people like, I like Uber uh, drivers. average Joes that like don't know that they're sexy. But those guys have OnlyFans? Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a, he has an OnlyFans. Look at him. Yeah. Really? <laughs> you, 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 you just show me, you just show like Root, Are right? there like super really, insecure no, no, OnlyFans posters, like very low confidence? I th I don't know. I, th I think it's just, it's confident, <laughs> being confident have, enough just be. showing having an OnlyFans. That shows right. some, some level of confidence. Right. But um, I don't, I'm not going for like the, like the ripped up underwear models. I just like go You're for going like, for a guy with, uh, a young guy with a dad bod. Yeah. With a juicy ass. Yes. Who... Maybe like played high school football and then like gained a little weight in yes, college. That's what I love. Right. An excellent Sick. player that let himself go. Yes. But like how much go? V go. You know, enough where everything's still intact, but you know. But like, have you ever been with a fucking a heifer? I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of then, course. Then. What's that? What? what why? Cause it's I don't know I I find so I like I like hefty guys yeah but like I'm talking like like a Yorkshire pig morbidly or what, obese what type of yeah what kind describe, not describe morbidly it obese. as something that's not a human as, so describe the guys oh. that he's hooking up with as a, not How a human big like or just animal? like or a select Ow. like a barstool employee oh yeah body type oh you would go after you have a range I mean big, I mean freshman fifteen is obviously is that a category is that a genre that's a freshman guy who 15. works here freshman fifteen we don't tell you who it is though yeah until we're off camera. Yeah, his name is Freshman Fifteen. Just I'm body like Dana, so Dana Beers. So wait, Dana yeah. Beers Dana is Beers, perfect, yeah. but that's not like let go. That's a big fat guy. No, that's just just barely let no, go. Dana's head turningly fat. Yeah, Dana's, no, he's not. Yeah. Dana Beers is 300 pounds. He's also seven feet tall. <laughs> he's not head turningly fat. You just insult it like 50 barstool employees who are way fat. No, he has a beautiful figure. <laughs> like, wait a second. No, he's head turningly fat. No, like what am I? Size, that's, that's good size for me. No, you like smaller than Dana. I like a little offer. I'm not discriminating, but I'm saying as, as a. As a huskier like football player build, I like his. The problem is with the big guys, they get to a point where they're so big where their dick almost becomes like triangle shaped. That's not happening to him. So it's just kind of like here and then it's just like too fat down into him. I stop talking about gay Triangle. Shit. Yeah. yeah. No, this makes you yeah. fucking you, sick. Right? Yo, pause. Um, thank pause, you. Pause, B. <laughs> um, what do you, so I was, um, you guys are moving to Chicago. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, not ex I'm excited about that, that I have so many friends in Chicago now, but I'm going to have FOMA. This place is going to fucking suck. So- we, you know, we decided to do it because we got 100K cash each to do yeah. it. Yeah. Um, oh, they really did. Yeah. I they showed it to Joey. Really gave it to them. Yeah. Uh, cash. Them, yeah. Um, so how do you say no to that? Right. Yeah. You guys were offered and you must have said no, right? They didn't well, yeah. offer us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my sweet, sweet Joe. My sweet, sweet Joe. He, he can't really didn't give me a hundred thousand dollars. No. Oh, I told you that months ago, and you just oh, you did. Me. I told him that as he was walking out the door. Oh, <laughs> and did you act on that? He held on to it. So it was no, when you I got. It's it. when you guys got the raise, and we're very excited. And I was like, hey, that's so awesome. Like, I just got a hundred k cash for moving to Chicago, <laughs> and then you walked out. He said, and he I said just he wanted never... to show everyone else who's follow suit. He got the first one. He was the first one to say yes to go, so he got the. We'd already be in Chicago if we got a hundred. If we got a hundred thousand cash, I would live in Syria. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you most excited Is that a bad about? Bad place. Going out there. Are you <laughs> what, say, mean, what do you think? Meet new friends. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. What were you most excited about about moving to Chicago? Space and having yeah. a car. 
And yeah, yeah. I get a much, <clears throat> much nicer apartment for <laughs> yeah. La- for yeah, ba- better better bang for you. You're your looking buck. at two bedrooms right now. Yeah, more two outdoor recreation. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, more down to earth people. I feel like yeah, it's a cool contest here. And I'm, I, I'm I feel trapped here. Yeah. You know, I could have a car. I could get out and yeah, drive. I could go. You could drive to Ohio if you want. I could drive to Ohio really easily. It's like a five hour drive to Columbus. I think where a lot of my friends are. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm excited. That. I would like to. I don't know how I do in Chicago though. I don't think it's metropolitan enough. I'm more of a you're coastal here. elite. You know what mm-hmm. happened with? You, you know? would do well in Chicago. I would like Chicago. Oh, yeah, I think you yeah. could only do New York yes. or Miami. Yes. Miami or LA. I can't go to Miami. I don't or. speak the language. <laughs> but I can go to <laughs> California. You, I Northern you like, California. Okay. You, nor, uh, you, yeah, I can't be the, yeah. near the border. No. <laughs> what would happen there? <laughs> I know. I just end up in Tijuana unconscious most nights. Probably. Yeah. And the well, surgeries the, are cheap there. Well, you would take up arms is what you've been talking about doing at the border. Well, that's that what the guns? first thing I'm doing in Chicago is buying a fucking piece. Oh, you can have guns? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to buy a gun. Yeah. You really can have yeah, guns? Yeah. yeah. Is Chicago a blue state or a red state? Chicago, the city. Well, Chicago's a city. Lib, oh, right. Lib uh, fucking, Illinois is Illinois. Uh, Illinois is Chicago, like on, the, on the cusp. Yeah, I mean. Chicago, Chicago, it's Chicago, all Chicago. is the reason it's blue. Ugh. It's where uh, Obama was a senator in Illinois. Uh, yeah, allegedly. I mean, we, they had Rob <laughs> Blagojevich. I mean, he fucking weaseled his way in and then. You know who? All our favorite drone president, Barack Obama, got his way in. I think you guys are going to have fun. I would like to go. You turn it down. You guys should like, come. I was like, why don't we go in the summer for like a couple of weeks? But who's going to pay for us to stay there? We'll just get kind of an Airbnb for a couple of weeks. The, yeah. the office is going to have two beds and bathrooms and everything. Should we move into the Chicago office for a week? <laughs> Imagine how often you guys would get a studio. Let's move to Chicago, Joe. You're getting your own studio there? Yeah. You want to see a picture? Yes. Yeah. Wait, your- everyone gets their own studio there? A lot of us. I think it's, let's move to Chicago, you please, would, for the would, summer, yeah. for a month. I can't. I have to save up. I'm moving in the, in, the, in the summer. Move to Chicago. We don't even have to save up. We can go right now. But I can't live there forever. Why? Because I have things to do. That's your studio? Yeah. Do you have to decorate it? Yeah. Oh, how cute. How many floors is this place? It's two, but uh, it's, you know. Is this- it a freestanding building? Hmm? For like a like a building like yeah, it's you a get where- in from the outside you don't have to walk yeah. into a lobby yeah that makes me nervous just How, in terms of active no, shooters no I was scro- scrolling in I, it I have does. cataracts <laughs> wait yeah, y'all have your insane. own studio mocked up now yeah is it cool yeah it's pretty cool yeah, and yeah. the Yaks has its own studio it's like right out we have a basketball court and a gym in oh the my god I would be there uh, in, in, the, in the office yeah that would be what's sick. the Yaks studio okay, it's still a round table kind of thing no it's um this is Let's see, boring to talk about on a podcast. No, it's not. No, it's great. No, I'm really excited, though. Kyle, you have your place already. You found a place? One bedroom or two? Two bedroom. Wow. 18 bath. It, <laughs> it might be a hotel. You, I think what you're you living mean? in a hotel. What are you talking about? Hotel? Yeah. I think I might be living in a hotel. One, two, three, Elaborate. Four, where five. people... Six, seven, eight you know, chairs. Eight chairs for not like eight a, people going. A few days or who's, a week. Who, who's from the act of staying Jesus. back? Sass? Uh, Sass and Roan. They're not saying, but Kate's going. Kate's going. A pregnant woman yeah. can make it out there, but those two don't want to go. Uh, Sass doing his comedy, and then Roan has his, you know, he's so close to Philly, all his family. It makes sense. Socks. Wow. Imagine, Imagine having pretty. a relationship with your family. Yeah. No. no. Who are they replacing them with? We don't know. I would Should go there if they put me on the act. Yeah. We've floated some ideas by. Who was in the idea? I would love Will Compton. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. I would love Will Compton too. Mm-hmm. Who else? What are you doing? You get nervous? I have Who else? Imagine it's just very graphic know. photos right next to the studio, <laughs> studio prints. <laughs> that I'm sending in the Yak chat. Who yeah. uh, Who else would you like to have on the Yak? Um, Anybody. Uh, yeah. Yak is like a plug and play kind of show. Yeah. yeah. Anybody That's what's could great fit about in it. Pretty easily. Yeah. So it's anybody could fit in besides this White Sox. This show's Dave. also plug and play. <laughs> besides White Sox, Dave. I'll quit if he's on the show. Are you? Um, <laughs> is, your, is your father upset that you're leaving him here? My dad moved to, to where? where? West Virginia, back home. Oh, back to the holler. Yeah, back down on the holler. And is your mother there as well? Yeah. So you're gonna be spending more time together. I know. Sexually, that might be difficult for your father given his orientation. Well, West Virginia, it, he's bringing some some with him. Some. Yeah. Some fellas. Some T cells? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They're yeah, they moved back. They're ruined to making wine. Nice. So is he retired? No. Nah. Have you met next dad? No. No, not yet. Not yet. He wants to meet you bad. I know. I'm you. excited. Oh, I met his father. What did yeah. he say? Yeah, he didn't say much. He doesn't have to. You would like him. Well, good. 
I get along with most people. You get along well. What about what are you, what are you, what are you guys going to do here in New York? Have you, are you, half I, asset? No, no, no. I've heard you guys talking some floating some ideas by. I should do like a undercover Uber driver video. That'd be fun. Undercover brother. I have to drive the car. Then you reveal, yeah, reveal to them like, hey, it's actually me, Joey. Oh, it's <laughs> me, Joey. <laughs> Stand by. Answer on the phone. No, I can't. Oh, you can't. All right. Um, that would be fun. What we're gonna try and do, I don't know if we can say this, but we're working on some sort of like show oh. with Roan and Francis and Sass and some of the remaining members of the Yak, where it could be like a New York style version. Yeah, that gets paired up with you guys to be a lead in. You know, whether it be a couple of days a week. I don't want five days a week. Couple oh, yeah, I week. forgot about that. I can't do that show, though. <laughs> I can what? just do it via satellite. Well, yeah, the yeah. thing is, you guys never are in here. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we had Dave. Will work. Dave will be on the show next week, um, and he talked a lot about, like, why it's not important to come in. <laughs> He's like, if you're doing well, there's really no need to do it. It's sure. nice to be in and get I, involved. I like, I like scratching the social itch because I wouldn't leave my apartment otherwise. Yeah. That is nice. I'm sorry. I was distracted by KB's legs. It's unbelievable. Legs. It's pissing me off. That's, not, that's what needs to grow. You have big legs. I don't think they need to grow. <sighs> yeah, maybe I'm just. It you you, you, oh, you've gone through body obsessed. transformations in the three years that I've been yeah. here. Yeah. Because you were pudgy, like uh, post COVID. I, I don't think you were pudgy. Yeah. I was. At, yeah. yeah he was. He mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. You know what happened? I went to, it was Provincetown. I was like, I can't be, I got, if I'm five, seven, I saw all the gays and like, you can't be short and not muscular that's or you true have to be like a twink with the face of a boy who only consumes water and fruit so yeah there's, there's like three options and i said i have to you want to be a twink. that that trip to provincetown ruined my confidence forever because that's why i don't go to gay you're things. surrounded by the most judgmental meanest most perfect builds. do you remember when we walked out of that speedo store and there was a yeah. guy wearing the same speedo as us no. But he, but he was like in the distance, and he actually turned around and pointed and laughed at us yep. yeah. because he had and this now, like yeah, eight-pack body, and KB was, was like, yeah, "Oh, was super pressed." That, was, that scene where the, we're walking slow mo, and then Corey's just like rubbing his nipples. He's like, "Rub, run on the beach." Is this online that people can find it? Yeah. yeah. What should they Google? Rediscovering America, Provincetown. Provincetown, right? yeah. yeah. And then Pat's Barstool there. Barstool gay, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, the first result for Barstool gay, <laughs> ugly? On there were, those, those were keywords that they put in the back no, end. But Barstool sports, gay, ugly. I can do it up here. Yeah, what's, yeah. Let's take a peek at that photo. Damn, you could do this? So, you yeah. Train Mook. <laughs> this is a new development here. We decided we, we decided to take our show to the next level. Everyone else just does this. Yeah. Check out Rediscovering America if you're listening in your car. You can keep driving as you watch it. All right, it. so, wait, images. The sad and ugly truth behind Ronan Sass. Barstool Sports gay ugly is who? Ah! <laughs> First result! First result! <laughs> and then Dave Portnoy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not a good, it's an ugly face you made. So they, yeah. AI is good. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking <laughs> classic. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, do Barstool. Okay, look at number two. Well, uh, you're first in the number first. two. That's true. I tried Wait, to go up to search Barstool and Sports. And that history of Ugly Dave. Barstool Sports Short Ugly. Yeah, do Barstool Sports Short. <laughs> oh, that's so good. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. I know. What, Short Ugly? Go to YouTube if you're listening. All right, let's play a game. Oh, it's a oh, t-shirt. Oh, it's a t-shirt. Oh, you said shirt. Oh, it's cr it, yeah. Marty, <laughs> type in Barstool Sports Fat. Wait, yo, no, no. I'm going to name an employee and you guys have to just use Google images to have them be the first picture. Or, oh, yeah, oh, that's, that's a good game. That's, that's great. Good that's game. great. That's great. That's great. You can't so use, cut wait, this. Wait, <laughs> you can't use their name. You can't use their name. Or something, Barstool that, sports or something that's unique Barstool to Barstool st Sports and you get three nouns or adjectives. Okay. Um, Billy football. Fat. You gonna lock well, that I'm in? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I was gonna say something else. Can we go one, one, one. Cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so, pick, I would like to see Barstool Sports Fat Cock. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> type okay. that one in, Marty. Barstool Sports Fat Cock. <laughs> Come on. Are we, are we all hoping? Wait a minute, Marty. Before you hit enter, let's rank our favorite things about summer. <laughs> yeah, good idea, dude. Spontaneous adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, who is, that? who is it? Big Ev with the appearance. Big Ev made the appearance with Dave. Good work. Yeah, Dave. Okay. okay. Big Ev, I'm glad you, you go. There's <laughs> Willie Cologne. <laughs> They're good, yeah. Bottom three. That'll make it. All right. All right. And Kate. Wow. Can we do Barstool Sports F-A-G-G-O-T? 
Didn't you guys do that for an acronym for a podcast? Yeah, we did once, yeah. and then it um, didn't work out for us. Let's see for a who pops while. up. <laughs> Joey, if it's, if it's I, not me, I'm going to be upset. I, God, I hope it's you. <laughs> it's Brandon. Oh. oh no. I didn't even is that Brandon lifting weights or is that it's Francis? <laughs> yes. Let's play that game, Nick. Give us an employee and then we'll each do an adjective and try and find out who they are to okay. get them first. So you had <sighs> the first one was who? Billy football? Or you want someone else? No, no. Uh, let's do somebody else. Okay. What are we saying? Where, where, where do we think about We them? say one adjective. I say one. I say one. That creates the Google search to try and get the employee as okay, the first okay, person okay. there. Big T. Um, big T. I'm going to say Southern. Okay, Barstool Sports Southern. <laughs> I'm going to say Tennessee. Well, what the fuck? That's his name. That's a noun. Yeah, no, that doesn't count. Oh, count. The, T is short for Tennessee. Tennessee yeah. So I can't do that. No. No. Um, uh, fuck. What's an adjective to describe? Large. Southern, large. Number Barstool like, Sports Large may be a bit tricky. Yeah. Because, uh, that's a man uh, that works an orange. Ooh. I was sticking with large. Okay, and I'm gonna say um, uh, <laughs> racist, cranky. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That can only be one person. Who is it? Come on, oh, we fucked up. No, we no. fucked up. Yeah, we fucked. You guys up. didn't do good. I would say Barstool Sports High Noon can. <laughs> that oh, would have yeah. that would have been good. Let's get Joey. Been. Okay, let's do. Okay, let's do Joey. Uh, no gay, nothing. No gay adjectives. No gay adjectives. Uh, we'll do bars. Bars. <laughs> trans. <laughs> bars. Sports. Oh, trans. That, might, that might help. No, help. no, we should do trans. We should do bars. Sports. God, what's an adjective to describe Joey? Famous. <laughs> yeah, do bars. Sports. Trans. Famous. Yeah. And uh, makeup, maybe. Makeup. Yes. Trans. Famous. Makeup. Yeah. This is a big, come on, if you fuck this up. Oh, that is you. We'll leave the first second one down. This is a lot harder than we thought. Caitlyn Jenner. Oh yeah, if only, yeah, shit. Well, this was lovely. Yeah, we tried. Well, we tried anyway. But we brought another game to play. What's the other game? Yeah. It's called, I found this in the dumpster. Live event Larry's been going around the office stealing everyone's shit off their you desk. You Lisa? Larry. Was, her, 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 her dead name is Larry. Oh, okay. And don't say it again. So this game is called... It's called um, Composure. Composure. And there's all these cards with heart. I played with you yesterday. Yeah. Um, and it's just a bunch of random questions and we're all going to answer. They're um, very dirty. So are we going to grab a card and then we all answer? Yeah, I'll grab one. I'm going to look. And then we all have to get right uh, now. This is too much. These are real. You pick one because these are what really. Is the I'm not scared of anything. Here. They're questions. Ready? What do you think when you see a skinny man with a fat woman? What about in reverse? <laughs> I think the. Uh, yeah, I know what you're thinking. I know what I'm yeah. thinking. I'm right. thinking if I see a skinny man with a black, a black. Oh, sorry, a fat woman. I'm thinking um, white guy and black woman. Yes. <laughs> white guy. No. no. Yes. Or no, uh, a, a fat woman with a skinny guy. The guy is black. The woman is white. No. No. Yeah. Skinny guy with a fat woman is um, kind of like outdoorsy. Maybe granola even. Okay. No, um, you don't think? No, no, no I don't think so either. That's an act. That no, it's probably a guy that's into steampunk, and she, uh, she has tattoos of her dead dog's paws up her arm. <laughs> oh, that's God. pretty, pretty good. Yeah, she's Eve. <laughs> yeah, she's Eve. Uh, jo it's Eve. Joey, okay, let her run more. Let's do a couple more. Do a couple. Would you rather have? That's stupid. Can you get one with the red face? Those are the good ones. Red face. Here, there's you a red pull, face. Okay, how monster? about this? How about this? All right, guys, we are taking a very quick break from our interview with Nick and KB to talk to you about Mamitas. Live mucho this summer with our favorite tequila seltzer, Mamitas. And here's the thing. We're not just saying that it's our favorite tequila seltzer. Mamitas has been so good to us and they've come on board and we get sent this stuff. I cannot tell you how much of a hit this is at every single party I have. I drink them all the time. They're delicious. And there's a ton of flavors. And the best part is they're 95 calories. What's your favorite? Well, I always sit on record and I said I love the spicy margarita yes. and the Paloma, but they have other flavors. They have mango, pineapple, lime. The cocktail pack has uh, Paloma, spicy margarita, classic mark, and tequila sunrise. I've been drinking these all summer long. I drink them year round, honestly, because they're so light and refreshing. You never get too full from them. Only 95 calories, 5% alcohol. Um, most of them are under two grams of sugar and they're gluten-free. So you can drink these and not feel guilty 
about, you know, crashing your diet. And they just taste good. Most canned yes. cocktails taste like artificial things. This is real tequila, real flavors, and it's just so delicious and refreshing. I'm drinking them all summer long. I'm going to the park, getting a um, getting a, a cooler, dragging it into the park, and yep. having a kiki on, oh the, kiki on the front lawn. But I'm going to the beach this weekend for, for my... Um, and I'm going to bring a whole cast of I like these because they're just so light. And yeah. it's like, I like feel us. like- Light and lively. Light and lively like us. I feel like people always have the same old seltzers at their party. You know what I'm talking about? Spice it up. And I, I do love the I do love the uh, the party pack, the cocktail party pack. But I will tell you this, regular old tequila lime and mamitas is too die for. So make sure you check that out. The drink of the summer made with real tequila and only 95 right. calories. Find mamitas at drinkmamitas.com or on GoPuff. Now- Back to our interview with Nick and KB. You're in the sauna with a towel. Oh. The next person walks in and does oh. not have a towel, but is sitting spread eagle. Under what circumstances do you leave? If he starts jerking off. That's, That's very it would almost be, <laughs> it'd almost be more awkward to do it while he's jerking off. You oh, wait yeah, for, you're right. You gotta, I'll wait for it till, when he's done jerking. <laughs> like, All right. Hey, man, that was fucked up. <laughs> You just sit there and just go, oh, come on. Dude, you're going to leave as I'm jerking off, weirdo? Before or after? So wait, saunas are like a jerk off haven, are they not? Yes. Why? Um, I don't know. It's just a, it's just a it's just part oil. of our culture. Yeah, it's part of our have culture. You, have you both jerked off in a sauna? Yes. Of course. Yeah, I mean. What? Yes. Yeah. The, the like the infra the mild ones because I go to the sauna that's like, steam rooms are easier because it's a little anymore. bit st- smokier in there and you really can't see what was going on. Um, so you jerk off in a sauna? No, no, the steam room. Oh, I was gonna say. Imagine you're on a date with the hottest person you ever met, but you just found out they have a complete opposite political views. How long can you stay together? Not pretend Every, like you know, I do and stay with them forever. Infinite. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and I don't care. Yeah, that's the easiest question ever. If you can kill anyone penalty free, who would it be? Myself. Kill anyone <laughs> penalty <laughs> penalty free. free. Think like long and hard. Use the word penalty. Like that's. Um, this is a good question. Yeah, there's nobody I really want that I know personally that I want dead. <laughs> I want dead. <laughs> Missy Missy hard Bill, Think Bill. long and hard. Who has wronged you in your past? Who from your childhood? No one was terrible. If you get wronged. You. You have a problem. An uncle that, (laughs) if you get wrong, do you have a problem? Yeah. Maybe an uncle that got a little too handsy. Getting wrong. People who are always getting wrong, that's their fault. Give everyone else a stab. If you're the common denominator of getting wrong. Yeah, that's a me. Yeah, getting wrong. We we are. Have you guys been wronged? Have you guys ever been fucked over here? Yes. What? He no longer works here. So I can't say. No, I haven't been fucked over it, but there's been some Wait a shady. Minute, he no longer works here. But there's been some shady, shady people here. Is it was it a content person? Yeah. Did he have a, a a monetary value in his name? You would know. Okay. Did he have a two letter name? No. <laughs> Who's a two letter? I have name? a good one. You're bad at this. Um, yeah, <laughs> Mantis. Oh man, right. this is just our whole show is just us doing clues to each other. <laughs> um, here's the, before I everyone's gonna start after this one. While you're looking for your card, I'm gonna say one. A ter- after a terrible accident, would you prefer your partner looking healthy and sexy but with brain damage? Or yes, just, yes. Or yeah, you got <laughs> yes. disfigured face and body, but with the, the same mind you fell in love. The with. former. So you don't I saw, fall in love I with saw a mind. guy without a nose on the train. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to it, you you're the guy without the nose. You're a guy without a nose. <laughs> like you could be the nice guy in the world. You, you could do on. 500 push-ups in one sitting. You're the guy without the nose. Was it the uh, was it Artie Lang? <laughs> no, it wasn't Artie Lang. This guy was like straight up just whole, just no nose. You can't put a fucking fake on. That's he didn't. Expensive. A fake a fake nose? <laughs> For a good one. I thought insurance. I thought I'd get I would get a bad one before I got no, no, no yeah, nose. Yeah, like it's like a different a different yeah. races na- nose. You get a Michael yeah, Jackson color. pre-surgery nose? If you have no nose, what do you think happens like when you get sick? Like, does it just fall out? Yeah. Probably you get just snot. That's all fucking place. gross. <laughs> snot just falls out. I don't know. That would like be disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't wear glasses. Okay. And who's Certainly the next not. Question Are you more likely to hire Hunter Archibald, Rohit Patel, or <laughs> Darnellian Jones? Depends what for job? the job. What job? Are, the, are these famous people? Or are they, no. Are they're, 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 give us a job and I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll line up the names. <laughs> It's Patel. Who else? Wait, is one of them Patel? Yeah. So we've yeah, got an accountant, an accountant or a dentist. Uh, uh, okay. Wait, who's the Definitely first one? Who's it? 
Hunter Archibald. What's Archibald? All right, I'm going to name a profession it's you have to assign. Archibald is someone who, who was rude to their wife in the 70s. All right. No. What's the main difference between the Crusades and Jihad today? That's just like pretty introspective. Yeah, that's pretty introspective. I don't know what that, that means. Yeah. One is grounded in truth and religion. <laughs> <laughs> the other <laughs> jihad are you guys familiar with celeb jihad the fake uh nude website for celebrities no, no but i love fake celebrity nudes yeah. marty we'd be honored celeb jihad is it still active oh yeah i think they that's still very so wait this is actually quality. being uh very problematic so like with the with the face swap oh porn. yeah it's so it's such a bad crop that oh, okay. it's not even problematic should do you I remember even, bubble I even porn go to this? it's porn so no bubble yeah. Unless, bubble porn so no. they would put it would be like a girl wearing a bikini, but they would put bubbles over her to make. Look, you remember bubble porn, Marty, right? I actually have no idea what that is. Bubble. Porn. Me either. Um, Celeb Jihad is there. Give her a click. Give her a click. Explosive celebrity news. What's the. Gra so these are oh. all fakes? Yeah. But they're women. And they're not celebrities. I don't know who all these people are. They should be celebs. There's, is that Salma Hayek? And this is yeah. what gets you guys going. No. Oh. Well. Now, who's that lady? Nessa. Barrett. I think that's like a TikToker. Yeah, it's weird. That seems probably. Oh, this is bad. really. Yeah, yeah, this is crazy. I, I suggest. Go to a uh, bubble porn. Bubble porn. Yeah, let's check that out. Because I would love you guys to do this. Yeah. Because what it was is, uh, go to images, I guess. <laughs> so what it is is you would take a guy that's wearing clothes or a girl, <laughs> the and then fuck? somebody would bubble them, and it would look like they're naked. Like, click that. So yeah, they would do that, and so you would imagine that they're naked rather than seeing the clothes. And it kind of works. This feels very like like Mormon yeah, no. like workaround. Yep, yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah. A, this is very much like a Mormon workaround to porn. This is one that's very near and dear to Trisha's <laughs> heart. You stumble upon a masquerade sex party at your parents' house. <laughs> Everyone is ridiculously sexy. Do you stay or leave in fear that you might take a dick from your masked dad or fill your mom's box? Is that a real question? Uh, this is from out, Kate back, Kyle. Kyle Howell? <laughs> no, I leave. Obviously, I leave. That's from Kevin in Seattle. Yeah, you leave. Let's assume you have two children. The older is in dire need of a kidney, kidney transplant. The younger is a perfect match. Do you take your younger child's kidney? For well, you have two kidneys. And give it to the older. Are you like, you're giving a kidney to the older? Yes. Really? You don't just let the older go? It was God's way. We don't in, we don't involve ourselves in no, evolution. No, you have two kidneys. Giving a kidney. Yeah, Multiple people we work way. with have given kidneys. We've talked about this kind of. What nationality is the world's ugliest? Is it British? They're up there for sure. Is Joey? that a nationality? British? They're from the, na the nation, nation they're from, yeah. yeah. Um, it's or is nothing it in sort of the Americas. Eastern European. The thing is, the, the Irish- I would say it, it, was, it would be British. Yeah. British, yeah. They're very horsey. <laughs> yeah. Very like- Better lay, Hillary, Hillary Clinton or Nancy Pelosi. The Pelosi. liberals like to give- No way. Hillary. So, Hillary. Better at sex, yeah. Hillary, but who you'd rather, Pelosi. You'd rather Pelosi? Yeah, uh, probably. Uh, ah, yeah. no. Why? Because yeah, of no. the tits? Yeah, probably. Because of the tits. Why would? Why Hillary? Power. <laughs> Power suits? Yeah. Because you know Hillary had to get freaky to keep Bill interested. She didn't, though. Yeah, but I think afterwards, she's like, I better step would this thing up. Would you guys agree to a political marriage? Well, who's a politician? Um, George Santos. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, who is, uh, who's the Hawaiian senator that's always running? Maui? That's, no, that's from, that's the guy. Yeah, <laughs> no, I meant the character from Moana. He's gay icon, is he not? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the Rock's character? Joey mm -hmm. just sent me this one. There is no more food on earth. You are alone. No one is around. Your daughter is pregnant and your mom is pregnant. Whose titty are you going to get? <laughs> So you basically need to- I've got my mother because I already had it so when I was wait younger. wait a minute. If I'm the last person on earth and my daughter and mom are pregnant, how'd they get pregnant? Well, <laughs> isn't that the million dollar question? <laughs> this game sucks. This is- <laughs> these are, A 13 year old made yeah. this game. Yeah. <laughs> let's get back to earth. Poop let's get, let's, let's get pee. back to our favorite things about summer, Pat. What, yep. You name another one. I would say leaving here for the month of, the month of July. So we did, did we get July off, Kyle? Did, or did the yak go through July? Yeah, we have the we month of July a, off here? A couple weeks. Or no, week. unofficially. A lot of people take July off. Dave did, and then everyone kind of followed suit, right? I'll do it. <laughs> you take the whole month off? How long have you been here now, Joey? A year. What are your thoughts? Um, you have been here for over a year. Well, I, I was volunteering for half a year, for six months. Volunteering? Yeah, I, I worked here and didn't get paid. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. 
So what are your thoughts? My thoughts of being here? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's going to change a lot when everyone leaves. It's going to be, I'm not. But I'm not everyone's much leaving. Here. A small group of people. Although, although, a lot of every, people. Everyone I care about is leaving. No. Except for Tommy Smokes. There. Sass will be here. You and Sass are close. You think Sass doesn't even like you. He doesn't like me. Probably doesn't. Yeah. No, he doesn't. I asked, I asked, um, yeah. who's I asking today? I'm not going to go to bat for him. Fidelberg. He probably doesn't. <laughs> <Saying Fidelberg. laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't know if he's oh, just yeah. socially awkward around me because he's not used to hanging out with nope, such, like such big celebrities. But it's like, I know I'm intimidating, but I, I, mean, I just don't think he likes me. Yeah, I get that feeling from Sass too. What about like you either. or about him, about me? He doesn't, he doesn't like me either. Well, no one likes you. He doesn't like Enrique. Who's the worst celebrity like you've ever had to work with? <laughs> um. Oh. Woman? Is it yeah. Catherine Heigl? <laughs> no. Did you know her? A date. Oh. <laughs> um. Years ago. I was 16. I don't really remember. <laughs> I have to I'd have to think about that, but I've I've met annoying you people bet, before. Yeah. Okay, guys, one more quick break from our friends, Nick and KB, because we got to talk to you about something that is near and dear to our heart, and that is BetterHelp. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. We're going to give you the shtick again because it's something that we believe in, and it's something that we use. We want everyone to do their thing during Mental Health Awareness Month, and that is take care of your brain, and BetterHelp is going to do that. Joey, talk to them about What's going on with BetterHelp? Because you've been using them forever. I've using them forever, but I like BetterHelp because like I get stressed out easily, and that's why I've been using BetterHelp to have. It's not, it's not so much there's something wrong with you. Yep. Sometimes you need someone to talk to, tell them what's going on in your life, what's on your plate, and how to manage how to kind of manage all those things with kind of like tools that I get from my therapist. Yes. Um, the biggest thing right now is stress is stressing me out right now. I'm trying to please everyone. I'm trying to get everything done before yes. the summer. I want to make sure that you know I'm, I'm giving time to my job, giving time to my relationship, giving time to my family, and to giving me. time for myself as well. So it's just great for me because I. I don't have to go to a therapist in person. I can do everything online, 100% yep. online. I don't have to see anyone in person if I don't want to see anyone in person. You can do it over the phone. You can do it on the, on the webcam and look right at them and speak with them. Or you can just do it over messaging if you don't feel like seeing anyone. But it's on your terms. And I've been doing it once a week for about three years now. It's and it's, it's really so much more affordable than in-person therapy. You just go online, fill out a little quiz, and you're matched with a the therapist within 48 hours. And you get started. And you, you know, it just makes you feel so much better to have someone to talk yeah. to that's biased and not biased. Yeah, very much important distinction not not biased because yeah. you know they're you know they're, you know they're, they're not going to like give your friends you ask your friends for advice they give you advice based on what they think the therapist is there to kind of guide you and just kind of it's been a, a world of difference for me it's been great and i know that everyone listening to this right now has thought about therapy at one point or another but it's tough to pull the trigger with traditional therapy because you got to go through insurance you got to go through your doctor better help gives you everything you need right there you can try it start it cancel it whenever you want so find more balance with better help visit betterhelp.com slash out and about today and get 10 percent off your first month that's better com slash out and about today for 10 percent off your first month um it's gonna be worth it guys and girls trust me give it a try start summer off on the right foot now back to our interview with nick and kb what, what are your memorial day weekend plans are you anyone going anywhere I'm gonna um, I'm gonna alter my body in some way. Okay, piercings. Maybe a, a piercing. Maybe a tattoo. You have nothing planned. I want to get my eyebrows darker too. A microblading. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I might get microbladed. Let me see those things. They are light. You can afford eyebrows now. You can go get them. I know I can. Do you want me to fill in your eyebrows tonight? Yes. Today? Yes. Okay. Right now? Yes. <sighs> Does anyone mind getting my makeup back out of my? <laughs> KB, what's your plans for the weekend? Do you want your eyebrows darkened? Do, do, should I get them darker? Well, it's, it's just no unless we'll do it after. <laughs> yeah. What are nice. your plans, Kyle? Is the darts tournament this weekend? Is it a Madison Square Garden? No, it's not this. No, because no, we're it's, gone for the darts tournament. It's like June first oh, or something. We're going to Nashua. Oh, Where's yeah. that? New Hampshire. For what? We're going with Clemmer. Get the video. <laughs> You're going to Nashua, New Hampshire, with Chris Clemmer. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna stop at the fucking state liquor store, dude? I don't know shit about Nashville. There's nothing to know. What is it? What, have you been there? Yes. You Why do you where is it? Have, 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 yeah, I feel like it has, a, it has a, probably an opiate problem. Yes. Probably a heroin problem. Yes. New Hampshire. Um, a gun problem. Ain't no such thing. That's Hooligan right, brother. Problem. I don't know. Nashville, there is, I cannot, Nashville's fine. There's just nothing there. There's nothing. It's like an old, like industrial revolution town. Another banger video for the boys coming out then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's empty mills. New Hampshire. Is that the one that's near New England? 
Yes, closer than you know. Yeah. Rhode Island. I think it's very warm. I think it's Rhode Island. Rhode Island's also warm. Hot, steaming hot. So, what are you doing for the weekend? What's the capital of New England? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Yeah. New England is there's no capital. Yeah, it's, very good. it's not a it's not a good. thing. Where are you going, Kyle? Probably the Hudson River. Yeah, Only take a place dip. You can take your shirt off like acceptably on the pier. So Christopher the Street Pier. On the path. The path. I thought you've been tanning like in a bed. I have been. I have been. You've been acting like you're laying no, outside. No, I've been tanning naturally. Okay. I've been going for a run on the Hudson, posting up with my blanket, my pillow, my sleep mask. And my sativa weed, and mm-hmm. just basking in what I would call the closest thing I've experienced to a, a heavenly. So you're moment. you're tanning with a mask on. No, um, <laughs> I'll do the mask when the when it's like after six. Okay. Yeah. Outside though. Yes. So you're running the West Side Highway. After a run, a few puffs of sativa. Can you get me into sun? Weed? The sun and know, yeah, like not someone else's your, sun. in my Central Park AirPods playlist. And I'm that's, a, that's what's perfect. on the playlist. A bunch of like tropical EDM, uh, like feelers, like, you know, upbeat feelers. I don't know. Like future bass, trance, Lewis, the child trance, flume, flume, weed songs, boys. You should get into and weed. Yeah, I want to try. Asleep. I'm, I'm the you most uptight human being. Uh, if you're if you're always on edge, you're stressed. Even like if it's not necessarily negative, like you're always excited about what's coming next with your career or social life. I can't recommend Yoga Nidra or Non Sleep Deep Rest enough. It's a ten minute video. I guarantee you, you try it, it will work. Can you text me that? You especially put flush the pills. I want Yoga Don't, Nidra. Don't not cold turkey. <laughs> no, I can't taper that, off. No, Yoga Nidra is a soundtrack I put on in my home. Yeah, what is Yoga Nidra? I listen to it. It's, it's a breathing music. technique, no? So it's, it's under the line. It's basically, it's just breathing. It's just how you breathe. It teaches Lay you down. Right. When I have trouble breathing. Yeah. So. Especially after a staircase. <laughs> it slows down your heart rate. This is biologically. It's not like it might or is it subjective to people. It, it slows down your heart rate and it relaxes your nervous system. Oh, Automatic. Can you try it with us right now? Like it won't do it sometimes. It will do it. Can I, can I do it? All you me, have to do is teach me to do it right now. Deep, deep inhale through the nose. Why are you getting mad at me? No, I'm just excited. I got to do it. And then, whoa, whoa, whoa. hold I'm, it in I'm and then let it out through the mouth with thinly pursed lips. Like the longer, the better. Oh, I do my. this anyway. When I'm, when I'm in bed, like freaking out. Oh, he's nodding off. It makes you go to sleep. It makes you go to sleep. Uh, sorry Pat were you raised Catholic yeah how can you tell <laughs> it's not the African tortoise on your back well listen that is something that's very important to me the African tortoise it means I don't want to talk really about the meaning right now <laughs> but it does maybe like maybe that'll I'll I have, that on I Patreon pr- I, there's a lot of bad tattoos in the office yeah. You're, you sneak up there well it's body art Nick and I don't expect <laughs> everyone to understand what it is but those who do appreciate it I'll so, be doing Nama Sutra for the rest of the day thank you Karma Sutra what am I doing Yoga Nidra? Yoga Nidra. Yoga yeah. Nidra. Now really pay attention to individual body parts and what they're perceiving. Perceiving? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like start with the soles of your feet. Focus on them. What do they feel? It's probably your socks and your okay. shoes, but start there. Yep. Do that. Do it now. Oh. Now pretend like your own self is looking over your current body with a, with a flashlight and it's okay. shining it on your legs. So you can only see your feet, your shins, your calves, your hamstrings oh my God. up to your waist. When do we get to the, now, do Am the I inhale tucked? and the exhale with the thinly pursed lips. And now imagine your, your legs, your lower body is sinking <laughs> into, oh my God. into whatever they're on. So the chair, imagine you're sinking a centimeter into the chair. <laughs> don't think about this podcast and what you're going to say next or what I'm going to say oh, next worry, or what I'm you're going to do after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What if I start to... Don't think about anything. Just perceive what you're feeling proprioceptively. <laughs> and so you're doing this in the middle of the park laying on your back with a mask on? 
Yeah, like Kyle, can I ask you a I'm question? A, I'm dozing off in six minutes. But are you on but, pills? <laughs> so, is that what's happening? <laughs> no pills. But like, are you afraid? Natural like when you're AI. laying in the park, shirtless, mask on, headphones on. Oh, this is so vulnerable. Relax, it really was. That's the that only time I've had. No, and that's headphones. what I had to do. I have to completely surrender, vanquish like how my how other people around me. You can't think about them looking at you. I would feel vulnerable, like someone's gonna come up and stab so me with a screwdriver. Like, yeah. No, they won't. <laughs> it's one thing I, that's a, one of the first things i learned and if you're in the car feel free to do that as well yeah Just do make this sure as well you close your eyes as you're driving god will take the wheel do you think you guys have ever been the last voice people have heard going to sleep or dying not yet no look on the radio no, just in general. general. No, I've never been in a room with a dead person. No, no, no. Oh, saying, like, doing oh, a, have you been in a room content, with a dead yeah, person? Yeah. yeah. Anybody's yeah. ever died oh. listening to your podcast? Oh, in mid? Of laughter? No. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I have you ever so. been in a room with a dead person? Di yeah. Someone died in front of you? Yeah. Oh, uh, God, yeah. yeah. Who? Wait, why? a lot? No, Why'd I mean, say, like, been... yeah, it's been two people. Who? Yeah. Old people. Old people. Tina Turner. Grandparents. Tina Turner and my grandfather. The late Rue McClanahan. The late room, yeah, my grandfather. Who did you die, who did you die in front I of? I didn't, yeah, not, no one, thankfully. Did someone die in front of you? Grandpa. In Grandpa? The with you. Mm -hmm. Suicide. He <laughs> 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 saw what his son turned out to be. And <laughs> this is my fucking grandson. <laughs> well, I'm going to South Carolina this weekend. Where? Charlotte, North Carolina. Ah. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> it is like the southern Charleston, part of Carolina. Charleston, Charleston. Yeah. He's taking up, he'll be leading the next march. Charleston, South Carolina. Vacation? Um, no, I'm going for a graduation, but I'm, you know, just staying for the weekend. My family lives there now, so I'm going there to Kiki uh, yeah. and hang out. Hang out with the Outer Banks cast. <laughs> is that where they're from? I think they live there in mansions. How will fun. You, will you be in a mansion? Me? Yeah. No. Where will you be? Where will you be? Um, I booked a nice residence. It's not a mansion. Do you want to share with our listeners where uh, maybe an address yeah, so they can swing send by. you, I guess? No, but I'll be kicking around. I know I'll be going to this bar called, uh, everyone suggested it to me. Ramrod? Saltwater Taffy it's called or something? Saltwater Taffy. How original. No, that's not what it's called. Definitely not. No. It's maybe. It's called, here it is. Oh, God. I have it right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's our gay pride party. He's While we're searching phone. for that. Uh, Let's say prayer. You guys do. <laughs> Salt, saltwater cowboy. I'm going to be at saltwater cowboy. Okay. I'll be going there. I'll be going to, you know, so a bunch of little the hip bars around town. That'll be fun. I want to take yeah, a trip. I've always wanted to go there. Are you, now, you guys do live shows a we lot. Did. You've done one. Are you going? I was I there like when, you, when you broke the screen. You guys were there. They didn't pay you. <laughs> you guys were there the night uh, before got paid. Yeah. We were there the night oh, after yeah, did not. You guys did get paid. Why don't you get paid? You didn't get paid for your show? Is no. We don't have to talk about that if you don't want to. No, no it's, it's fine. We've talked about it. What were you going to say about our live shows? How, we want. I, I want to do more. We're doing one in Chicago. We are? Where? I think. The Zanies people want us to. Kyle, you don't really see the point of doing it, though. Not the point. I understand. I, it's They're nerve-wracking. I, I, I was a nervous wreck going into it, like trying to plan stuff. You were stuff. a little nervous. Yes. I came out really drunk. I Did you? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I think that, I don't know, performing is, is weird. Yeah. Do you guys ever feel like you've let? I feel like down I would do it if I had a skill to perform. Yeah, like hacky a, sack. No, no, I feel that I've let, I've let my um, myself down by getting so upset about things that don't matter. Right, that does matter. Though. Like what? Like you? <laughs> That's. <laughs> have you guys ever got? It, have you guys ever gotten into a spat since being oh, on the show together? Oh my god, have we? <laughs> Yeah. No, That's, no. I was gonna. Do you know the spat? Do question. you know what spat? What means? have you not? <laughs> you guys ever had like a? Like, Good solid week together. <laughs> a good solid week. We get along seven right? straight yeah. days. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You guys yeah. have spent I'm seven straight days together. Yeah. What? You spent seven straight days together. No, yeah. We, you guys have a, a yeah, stretch of seven together. days where you were like fine with each other. Yeah. yeah that's good. Listen. No, no. Got like, you all tired with sorry. that yoga nidra. That did get me very tired. It'll happen. Joey still has drugs in his system. This was the worst mm -hmm. podcast we've ever recorded. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I think so. Marty, do you agree? Uh, it's up there. I mean, that part was pretty bad. What I just said? No, the breathing exercise. Yeah, that, that was like, that was pretty terrible. But no, keep it other in. than that. Yeah, no, I'll keep, keep it in. But I enjoyed yeah. myself yeah. with that part. That was actually the most exciting part for me. I liked that. Learning a new mm. skill. Should I pick I it up? I had fun with you guys. Wait, you really thought this was bad? No, I didn't. I thought it was bad. This is good. Yeah. I'm having a good time. We're having a really good time. Thanks to Mamitas. Thank you to Mamitas. Thank you to KB and Nick for coming by. Yeah. We really want you guys to come to our pride stuff. I know you're very, you know, um, 
intimidated by the entire parade, but we'd love for you to be there if you'd like to. I'd rather just have come to the yeah, party. Just or come just the party. party on June 8th. Oh, I want to do both. I want to be, be uh, an ally for the first time in my life. You are an ally, Nick, and you're a damn good, good one. Good friend. Thank you. Make sure to go check out Anus Pod and nah, also see them no, on the Yak. We're not doing this for a plug. Um, see you guys on Wednesday.